Welcome to Metaphor, Magic, and Mastery. I'm Devorah Spillman. I'm the storyteller, the founder of the In Story Way, and life coach and inspirer of new visions and new stories. So today's um, episode of Metaphor, Magic, and Mastery is about opening the gates to come out of hiding. It's uh, the Jewish New Year for me when I'm recording this, and it's a time of opening. And in any event, even not this time of year, this time in our world is a time of opening. There's something happening, and there is more possibility for us to come out of hiding. Almost everyone has gone through some part of their past where you had to kind of hide your authentic self, shut it down, and not show it. And now there's an opening. It's time for us to come out of hiding, to feel that the gates are open, there's light shining, and there's a way that is open in front of us. So get ready to open the gates and come out of hiding. So go ahead and close your eyes and just begin to notice your breath coming in and out. And really allow yourself to feel that shift to stillness. Feel that sense of breathing bigger than your physical self. And then allow your awareness to shift to that flow from above. Feel your connection to God, Source the universe and feel that pure light from above coming down to the top of your head, filling your whole body, your whole being with light, love, healing, blessing, guidance, clarity down through your feet into the earth, grounding you in the earth and breathe up that solid, rooted, comforting energy of the earth into the center of your being and be aware of being in that state of connected flow. And this time in the next Think About It step, I want you to take a moment and tune in to how have you been hiding. Take a minute and notice if there's some part of you that doesn't want to be seen. Have you ever had the feeling that you can't share your creativity, your authentic self, the essence of who you are? Feel into that, notice that for a moment. And take a minute and let yourself become aware of the old stories, the old energy. And feel that feeling of being in hiding behind some kind of closed doors, hidden away in hiding. And let yourself become aware of that and feel it. And you can ask, what stories have held me back, have made me feel I had to hide? Just notice what comes up. Because we're going to release those stories. Now I want you to imagine. Take a moment and like imagine that you're going to look up. And in whatever way it seems to imagine that there are gates You know, there's a concept of heavenly gates and just like imagine there are these gates like up sort of, you can imagine them up in the sky almost or in front of you in some way. But however it seems to you, you could even imagine being in a dark passage and then the doors, the gates open in front of you. So however that seems to imagine that you are beginning to see the gates that have been locked and closed and trapping you into a place where you felt you had to stay safe and that now these gates are opening. And as they open, imagine that there is a tremendous amount of light and beauty that is revealed to you. That all of the fear that was held in you about what might be on the other side of these gates is revealed as being beautiful and filled with light. And uh, 
imagine that you are now getting up out of where you have been hiding and taking of all of those fragile, deep, authentic parts of yourself and you are standing up and lifting up and opening and moving forward through those gates and notice where are you led. Let yourself imagine that you are going through these gates into somewhere that is very beautiful to you. And and imagine that perhaps you are asked, what gifts would you like to share? And in this place of light and beauty in the opening of the gates, it is easy for you to share your gifts. Imagine your gifts flow out of you as if they're made of light and air and crystals and beauty. And let your gifts flow out of you. And imagine that they are being seen and loved and that you are being seen and you are being loved. Feel this deep light healing and nourishing your soul, your heart, your being. And take a moment and allow yourself to follow whatever is leading you forward. Trust what you get. Always in my process, you can ask and trust. If something is unclear, ask. If you want help or guidance or healing, ask and trust what you get. What you encounter here is true. And in this realm of open beauty and light, you will receive the healing and the guidance you need to feel safe, to be seen, to come out of hiding, and to shine your light. Take a moment more and feel that sense of being filled with light, shining your light, your gifts, your story, your soul out into the world where you are received with love and filled with light and blessing. And then take one more moment and ask what is an image or a metaphor for my gifts, my light, my blessing. Trust the first thing you get. What is an image or a metaphor to strengthen me, to guide me, to hold me? That is my gifts. Trust what you get. Trust the first thing you get. follow it, allow it to unfold. And always the last step is explain, interpret, what does this seem to mean to you? What is its message? And breathe in all this imagery and all of the feelings. Breathe this in and feel that it is nourishing you, guiding you, strengthening you. And take another deep breath, breathe this all in, and begin to bring yourself back into your body, into the moment. And begin to come on back. And let yourself feel filled with this light, strengthened and nourished to shine your light out in the world. When you're ready, open your eyes and come on back. Take a breath, look around, lift your arms up perhaps, feel joy and gratitude and know that you are safe. The gates are opening. You can come out of hiding and be seen. Trust what you get. Feel free always to reach out to me. You can go to soulstorysession.com and I've opened up some sessions to help people with metaphor, magic, and mastery. It's called the Soul Story Session. If you need some help about where to go next and trust what you get, trust what you get. I encourage you to write down what you got, share it with somebody trusted. And then as always, remember to take this beautiful work, this story that is you, that is your essence and go out in the world and share your story. Live your purpose and be a blessing. Bye folks. <laughs>